There was a story written about Larry Shakely which said that he only sleeps three or four hours each night. If you know him and his business and philanthropic schedule, you would certainly believe it to be true. Larry is the owner and chief executive officer of the Shakely Group and the Shakely Group of Companies. Since 1980, when he purchased the Shakely Company, he has started nearly 50 other companies in various industries, which include a partnership in the Cincinnati Reds, banking, insurance, and a chain of upscale restaurants, among other things, and not just in the United States, but abroad. But he is still very busy with the Shakely Group and its more than 20 operating companies. He's always had a passion to help small and medium-sized businesses reach their full potential. He's been able to do this through his outsourced human resources firm, which recognizes and meets the needs of employers to help them to manage costs and maintain government compliance. The company was started in 1963 by Larry's father, Raymond, and has developed far beyond a workers' compensation and unemployment claims management company. It was Larry's belief that if a company used one of the services that his company provided, it probably could use other services. It's now one of the most respected providers of payroll, labor management, and HR solutions in the country and represents more than 50,000 clients. As any successful entrepreneur, Larry is always looking for a new investment. He realizes the risk but he minimizes it by understanding the business, the market that it's in, and especially the people he's involved with. This formula has worked well for more than 40 years. From a business perspective, Larry has instilled in me uh, a sense of value for each part of our business. And so Larry breaks it down. There are several things that we do. And Larry breaks it down and says, let's look at this part of the business. Let's look at his profitability. Let's look at his growth rate. Where I usually look at a business as its whole uh, and look at financials and not the breakdown as much, he looks at that. He looks at them very closely as though they're separate businesses. And he very, very quickly gets to where do we invest in the business and where do we not invest because of the growth and the profitability. Success in business has been just a part of his life. Helping in the community has certainly been important to Larry Shakely. Philanthropy is something that is promoted throughout the company, where he teaches the importance of community support and involvement. He and his wife Rhonda have been instrumental in helping those in need in Greater Cincinnati for years. Their support of the Boys and Girls Club has helped to change lives and build futures for kids who need a safe and positive place to spend their time. The couple has also helped to establish the Lighthouse Shakely Center for Youth. It's an emergency shelter where homeless young adults learn self-reliance and life skills. I met Larry 15 years ago through his wife, Rhonda, who would, had been a volunteer and board member at Lighthouse. He became uh, not only our largest donor, but my partner in a $25 million capital campaign. During that entire period of time working with Larry, he made me feel like I was something really special and was always encouraging, always helpful, always present. And knowing him in, in that relationship made me understand what kind of a leader he is, someone who dreams big, is present with his employees, always encouraging, and is a person with integrity. Larry has served on many civic boards, including the Taft Museum, Cincinnati Opera, and the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. His contributions to the University of Cincinnati have benefited UC Athletics and the entire student body. A gift in the memory of his father led to the Shakely Lawn in the Varsity Village. Larry and Rhonda were the major contributors behind the Shakely Athletic Center and the football practice facility. For his family, Larry has always tried to set an example, not just in business, but in life, and it has served them well. Lair father, that's what I always called Larry, was a massive inspiration to me. I always wanted to be a businesswoman, and I think that's because I saw him every morning. He woke up, he put on a beautiful suit, he drank black coffee, and he went to work. And he taught us the power of hard work. 
to him, it was always about having purpose. So he never cared what we did as long as it made us proud and made us happy. He just said that you have to wake up every day and do something you're proud of, and then I'll be proud of you too. And for that, for us as his kids, I think that was the greatest inspiration. Larry Shakely has been considered by many as an entrepreneur's entrepreneur, and he has shared his keys to being a success. First, he says, believe in yourself and your decisions. Always have older friends in your life for their experience and wisdom. Always have younger friends for their optimism and energy. Question everything. Remember that perception is reality. And finally, always remember that luck will play a part in success, but hard work will always play a bigger part. Excellent advice from an excellent business person. So uh, I don't know if everybody knows this, but nobody got to see these videos ahead of time. So we were all, all five of us were as shocked as, as I am, I'm sure. Um, Kay, there's nothing better than having a banker, uh, or your banker, Kay Geiger from BNC, to every entrepreneur's dream, right? Have your banker on stage and you awards. <laughs> um, and by the way, I do sleep a little bit more now. It's not as, not quite as bad as it used to be. I get at least six a night now. Um, there's a few people I have to thank um, that have been really important in my life. Um, but first, I want to thank Junior Achievement and the Cincinnati Museum Center and everyone that voted for me for this. Um, it is, my, my wife, Rhonda, would tell you that um, I was probably more excited about this than I've been about anything in a long time due to the fact that I feel like um, this is a recognition of my peers um, and people that I work with every day in the community and that the fact that I have gotten this award without having to write a check um, <laughs> <laughs> must mean something after the last 48 years of hard work. So, But let me, let me thank first Dan Horde, the voice of the Bearcats, um, Bob Meekum, no one is, I don't think Bob's here tonight, but no one has ever been more dedicated. I've never met a more dedicated person to homeless and disadvantaged children in my life than Bob Meekum. He has been a role model to me. John Burns, you're a great partner. Thank you for your kind words. And I am looking over the financials from last month as you <laughs> Joanna, our daughter, um, youngest daughter, uh, who is in the video, couldn't be with us tonight. She is a, believe it or not, a Hollywood producer. Um, so she's living in LA and couldn't be here, but um, probably got chosen to speak because she wasn't gonna be here and I couldn't say anything to her afterwards. But, um, <laughs> but thank you so much, Joanna. Um, a couple other people I really need to thank. Um, Bill Kirkham, Frost Brown Todd has been my attorney since the first deal that I did, first company I bought in 1983. And I met Bill, Bill was 32, I was 32. Um, not sure what I was thinking, hiring someone to be my attorney on a deal that was my age, but um, the rest goes forward. He did every, he's done every deal with me since then. He's done all of our family planning. Um, so Bill couldn't be here this evening. He's, doing something really important, playing in a golf tournament in Columbus, and I gave him an excuse to he could go. But um, Brian Malthouse from Bon Lehman, um, there's a common theme here. People that I've been around uh, that have helped me have been with me for a long time. Brian Malthouse has been my, Von Lehman has been my accounting firm since the late 80s. Brian has been personally involved since 1990, I believe. Um, so, move on to a couple of other really important people, um, more than a couple. I didn't do this by myself. Um, my resume probably reads like uh, somebody's book on the perfect person with attention deficit disorder. And um, I have an unbelievable group of people that surround me. I set out years ago to hire people that were smarter than me and I've been 
actually very successful, which is a little disappointing to me, but, but, um, but it, because it hasn't been that hard. But th there, there are a couple tablefuls of people over here that have been with me for more than 25 years. Um, we have a saying at our company that everybody's part of our family. Um, you guys are part of our family. It's been an incredible ride for me with these people. They've, they kind of mind the store when I'm going doing something crazy. So, but every business that I've ever bought or merged in, these people have run and run it to perfection. Um, and I couldn't appreciate you more. Um, I wish I could bring you all up on stage with me, but it's probably get too crowded up here with the family up here. Um, so just a couple more here. I, I was one of the lucky ones. I was raised, born into the mean streets of Madeira, as I like to say. Um, but you know, I was born into a wonderful family um, an older sister and a mother and a father that set, a, set an example for us every single day. Um, uh, this is where I lose it. Uh, my father, um, who I worked with for a number of years, um, was an amazing individual. Served in World War II, came back, went to UC on the GI Bill, and um, and we traveled around a little bit after that. He went to work for a company in Columbus, which I ended up buying, by the way, later on. Um, but um, in revenge for him being transferred all over the country, I think. But we came back to, I was born in Cincinnati. We came back when I was 12 years old and uh, my father started his company and I went to work with him seven years later. Uh, my father is no longer with us, but I know he's looking down right now thinking, how the heck did you do this? Um, my mother, 95 beautiful years, young years old, is with us tonight as she is always with me. <laughs> and if there is any person uh, in my life that's been a role model, um, that has showed me unconditional love, has never let me think for a second that I couldn't do something, um, that has always been there for me, always in a supportive way, mom, I wouldn't be here right now without you. Thank you. <clears throat> and one last person, my wife, 25 years ago, Rhonda, this whirlwind of a woman came dashing into my life. Um, my life has never been the same. It's been better. Um, and many of you here in the room probably know her because she's asking for money um, for some cause that she's chasing around town. Um, and she's pretty darn successful, so if she calls, if you don't want to give her money, don't take the call because she is very persuasive. I've been trying to hire her for years. Um, but she is a whirlwind. She's the only person I know that could probably tolerate me uh, and my attention deficit disorder. But honey, come over here. Um, for, for, we do everything together, every charity, every charitable contribution we've ever given, um, we give together. And I appreciate you so much, thank you. And this wouldn't, this, wouldn't, this wouldn't be really appropriate if I didn't finish by saying, go Bearcats. <laughs> That's right.